Paco is again filling up containers of water for his father. This dude, Paco, is always filling up containers for his father. Dude, what does his father do? It's like a business of water filling containers or what? Do I talk to myself a lot? All right, so let's see. The dimensions of this thing is four inches, two inches. This is two inches. The height over here is two inches. This thing's five inches. Please excuse the ugly picture. All right, let's see. Uh, the hose Paco uses to fill the container delivers four cubic inches of water every second time. So it's going to put water in here at four inches cubed per second. How fast does the water, how fast does the height of the water in the lower portion of the container rise every second? Please give your answers in inches per second. All right. Well, let's see. The, I'm going to let that equal to H. And the way I look at it is, I guess, if I want to figure out the volume of this thing, Say the water fills up to that line right there. You guys see that? So there's water in here. Um, the way I figure out that volume is 4 times 2 times h is equal to the volume. And how much volume is in there? Well, it depends on how long that thing um, took. So let's say this is actually your rate, which is equal to volume over second, volume over time. Do you guys agree with me? Do you guys see where I'm getting with this? So the amount of volume you have in there is equal to, well, whatever the rate is times the time. So, let's see, 8, 4, 8 times h per time is equal to my rate. Actually, you know, I think I might be doing this in a complicated way. Let me just kind of see what I can do. I want to figure out what h is. Oh, okay. I see. All right. So, h is equal to rt over 8. So that's my height. If I want to figure out my height per second, I would just really get rid of this thing. Or I guess, better yet, I'd divide both sides by t. And that's my height per second. That's how fast this thing fills up per second is equal to, well, the rate divided by 8 inches squared. So this would actually be 4 inches cubed per second divided by 8 inches squared. The reason why I have inches squared is because I have 4 inches times 2 inches. That gives me 8 inches squared. Two of these cancels out with one of those, and I get inches per second, which is good because that's what I was looking for. And the answer is 1 half, or 0.5 inches per second. Does that make sense? All right. Find a symbolic representation of the height of the water in inches after t seconds. Or right. find the symbolic representation of h t, the height of the water in inches, t seconds after Paco took over. All right. Well, I guess the way I would do that is. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Um, what I would do is I would say this, so part B, it's part A, part B, I want to figure out the symbolic representation of H of T 
after Paco took over. So I'm thinking that it's going to fill up like a kind of a y equals mx plus b kind of deal. Because the amount of water that's going in is kind of a constant deal. My m is actually my height over time. And my x, well, that's actually, it's not an x-axis. We're talking about the time axis in this case. Because I guess the way I, I would kind of envision it is if I were to graph this, I would graph h as a function of time. How high does it go after how many seconds? So I should change this to a t. So I would say h, h of t is equal to 0.5 t plus h zero. Does that make sense to you? Now, ask me something obvious. What what is h little zero? What is h sub zero? Well, I guess the way I would say that is, if you want me to tell you how high the water is after so many seconds, then it would equal to 0.5 times that many seconds plus whatever water was in the container before Paco took over. Does that make sense? So I don't necessarily know what that is, but I mean, I'm putting in that in there to account for it. If there was water inside of the container before Paco took over to fill it, filling up the hose, or this water container, then I need to account for that. That's, that's all I'm saying. And in fact, the next problem says, use the formula h of t to compute the height one second after the Paco took over. Oh, I think I screwed this up. I suppose Paco took it over from the beginning. So in that case, we would get rid of this h naught. I was kind of reading into this problem a little bit deeper than I should have. But at least you know how to account for that. Anyway, let's take a look at this. How much water is in here one second after? Well, okay, you just plug in h of 1, and that's equal to 0.5 times 1, also known as 0.5. There are 0.5 inches. Now, maybe I should put the units in there just to make sure that you guys understand how I did that. 0.5 is in inches per square per second. That's what I have, inches per second. I'm multiplying this by one second because time is in seconds. This cancels out with that, and I get 0.5 inches. That's how high the water is one second after he started the hose. All right. How long would it take for you to fill up this first portion right here? Okay, well, that's not even that bad either. What is, how tall is this first container? Oh, I gotta stretch. Excuse me. Come on, type it up. I wanna make sure you guys are awake. How tall is this first container? Rhymes with the word dive. Hive. Five, awesome, there we go. All right. Um, so if, h of t is equal to 5, and I want to solve for t, all I would have to do is divide both sides by 0.5. So in this case, what I did was I wanted to look for a time, I knew what the height I wanted to get. So I plugged in the height that I wanted to get, which was 5, and I divided it by 0.5. What's 5 divided by 0.5? Isn't that 10? Is that 10? Sure. So 10 seconds. It would take 10 seconds in order for this thing to fill up all the way. Cool. Graph that function. Well, that's pretty easy. Um, if I were to, if I want to graph this thing right here, that just means if I go up, if 
if I go up to, I'm going to go up by one. So my graph is going to probably look something like that. So this is rise is one, run is two. One, two. Right? One over two. One, two. And then another one and across two. Something like that. There's my graph. All right, cool. Can I erase this part? Are we cool with that? You guys happy? All right. Question number six. And then after that, I think that I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish off class kind of early today, and we'll 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 be happy. All right. For which values the t does the function model the water for the lower portion of the container? Oh, I see. So this, this equation, uh, h equals 1 half t, or 0.5 t, which is what I had earlier. Uh, maybe I should put h of t, that might be a little better. This is just saying, this is not h times t, this is saying h as a function of t is equal to 1 half t, only works between t equals 0 seconds and 10 seconds. Because after 10 seconds, it's the, the bottom container is completely full, and then we start working on filling up the top container. But I would think that the top container actually fills up a little bit faster than the bottom container. Why would you say that? Exactly. Because the bottom container is skinnier. No, not, I, 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 I'm sorry, I messed it up because the top container is skinnier. So you fill up the water over here and it's a big fatty container over here. And at the very end it kind of like shoots up because it's, it's faster. You guys ever fill up like water bottles, the ones that look like this, like soda bottles? And you put it on full blast. You ever notice, notice that like the water fills up and at the end it just kind of like shoots out real quick. Like it, it, it fills up way quicker than you anticipated. Well, it's the same idea because over here, this bottom container is so fat, and then at the top, it's kind of like a cylinder that's really skinny, so it's going to fill up really quickly. So this this function over here, h of t is equal to one half t, doesn't work for um, any time after ten seconds because after ten seconds, this thing's filled up real quick. You know what I mean? It it, it changes its style. So let's see, once the water level fills up to this portion, how fast does the water height rise every second? Okay, well, that would simply be the um, same thing. It would be uh, 2 times 2 times h equals rise over, or rate over, rate times time. I'm going to put a little h2 over here. The reason being is because I know that I'm talking about the height 2. All right, so this thing is H2 equals RT over 4. But what I'm asking is for my height over time. So I divide both sides by T. And I got R over 4. If I plug in R, that's just 4. So that's 4 divided by 4. This guy's in inches cubed per second. This guy's in inches squared. This cancels out with that, and I end up getting one inch per second. Now, what is my new equation? Well, find the symbolic representation of the height of t in inches after it begins to fill up the top portion of the container. Okay, so let's figure out this. What is h2 of t? Maybe not H2, maybe I'll just put like big H or two of T. Well that's equal to the rate one inch per second times the time plus however much however however high it was to start. What I'm saying here is how can I figure out 
this height as a function of time? Well, it would be this time plus uh, 5. Because it started off at 5 inches high already. is I'm going to figure out, well, how long does it take to fill up this full container? All right. The way I would do that is I would say, okay, well, this measures this height as a function of time. So I would say, how tall is this? How many inches do I need to go in order to get, um, in order to, get to this height right here? Well, how, how high is that? That's 7. Because 5 plus 2 is 7. Equals 1 times t plus 5. Okay? So, t, so this is 2 equals t, because I just subtracted 5 over both sides. Oh, there, I solved it out. Time is equal to 2 seconds. So, I got a question for you now. Does this container take two seconds to fill when it's completely empty? Does this container take two seconds to fill if I started off as completely empty? Because that's what I got. No, it doesn't. It takes 12 seconds. If you don't understand, ask me why. In fact, just ask me why. Why? Well, it takes 12 seconds because it took 10 seconds to fill up this bottom container, and it took another 2 seconds to fill up this top container. Does that make sense? This 2 seconds is just filling up the top container. That 10 seconds was to fill up the bottom container. So I would say that if Paco's dad wants me to fill up a water bottle for, or a water container for him, and he gives me a hose that does four inches cubed per second, it would take me 12 seconds total to fill up that container. Do we, are we asked to graph this thing? No, we're not asked to graph it. Oh, let's graph it anyway. Here's how I would graph it. I would, I would say this. Now, I'll admit to you, I think this is going beyond the scope of the problem. So maybe you guys won't have, don't freak out if you guys don't understand this one part. I'm just kind of showing you guys a little bit extra stuff. But what if we're talking about like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7. So here's 10 seconds, here's my time. Here's my height. This is five inches. This is seven inches. All right. So as I'm graphing the bottom portion for the first 10 seconds, it has a slope of half an inch per second. See that half? So it goes up one across two, up one across two, or up five across 10. So that would be right about there. And this would be the the graph of that line right there. Now, for that second portion, it has a different slope. Its slope is actually one. So that means I'm gonna go up one across one, so like this, up one across one, like this. So it's kinda of like that. And for the first 10 seconds, you use this equation. But after the first 10 seconds, you use this equation. Does that make sense? 
The reason why this goes beyond the scope of what I was talking about is because this no longer is technically a linear function. Well, they call it a piecewise function. A piecewise means it's actually two pieces of two different functions, or it's pieces of two different functions. This is a piece of a function, and this is a piece of a function. Technically, this isn't a line, because a line goes straight. This one bends, kind of. I mean, it doesn't bend like a curve, like a parabola. It just kind of has this sharp bend in it. Well, that's kind of exactly what happened. I mean, if you, if you thought about how this graph would look, this thing would kind of go, it would fill up, and at the very end, it would go, boop, because that bottle got smaller. Does that make sense? 